Hello and welcome. I'm Paula Cardozo, your Education Subject Librarian at the University of Lethbridge Library. This is your LibGuide for Counseling and Educational Psychology. We'll do a walkthrough of this guide, outline some major resources for your studies, and talk about help that is available to you at your library. First, we're going to go and look at all of the guides. So let's click on Library to get to the home page, and we'll click on the Guides tab. This first column of guides takes you through the entire process of a major research project. Uh, from the beginning stages of planning your research and picking your topic, to finding and evaluating your sources, to writing up your results, and to citing your sources. And your APA guide is right in here. The third column features guides for very specific resources, including videos, government information, and newspapers. The middle column has guides created by all of your subject librarians. So if you're doing any education and counseling research that crosses into other disciplines, it's not a bad idea to check some of those out if necessary. Let's just get back into our counseling guide by clicking on Education and going to Counseling and Educational Psychology. I update this guide pretty frequently, so if it looks slightly different since I made this video, that's pretty normal, but usually the changes are kind of minor, but if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Like our other LibGuides, we've got tabs to the different pages, and we also have links to the content below. Whenever I add something new, I'll probably feature it in this What's New box. If you need to contact me, email is always best. You can do that from right here. I also have a direct to me chat function that will be lit up green when I'm online. That means I'm in a relatively quiet place where I can give you some immediate help. And of course, if you can't find me, don't forget that we still have our research help desk. If you're wondering when the research help desk is staffed, you can check library hours right here. Now, while we'd love to see you in person, we know that's not always possible, so you have lots of different options. During the operational hours, you can send an instant message, a text, or phone, um, but anytime you need help, if you know that it's off hours, you can just email instead. I built this guide for you, so I want to make sure it's actually useful, so if you have any feedback, both um, positive and negative, just let me know, and you can do that right here. Let's just scroll up and we'll get started with getting started. So here is a list of very subject specific reference resources to help you get a solid understanding of the scholarship on your topic, um, key concepts and major researchers on the topic. For anyone that says uh, available online, that means it's an ebook. Those are going to be accessible only to current faculty, students, and staff. I also wanted to point out that if you need to um, consult the most recent version of the DSM, we do have an ebook copy of that here that's accessible to you anytime. Now let's go to our most popular page on this guide, that is your articles page. That includes all of the uh, subject specific databases that I've listed here for you. We also have some search tips that are right here for you as well, some information about interlibrary loan if we don't have access um, to the resource that you need. For counseling and educational psych, we have some sort of um, very unique databases, psych info on the Ovid platform and mental measurements. So I've included some very specific help resources right over here on the side. And of course, if that doesn't get you where you need to be, you can contact me um, directly as well. Next, we have books. And yes, indeed, we still do buy many books and ebooks in this for this library. There's a direct link into the library catalog to do some searching along with some search tips here and another reminder about interlibrary loan. 
the Faculty of Education has a lot of off-campus learners, so ebook format is a pretty popular one in this particular faculty. Um, so if you need any help accessing that, again, contact me anytime. Increasingly popular page on this LibGuide is for streaming videos. So some of the big streaming video um, counseling databases, you can access them right here. You can also do a search for a specific DVD, Blu-ray, or streaming video. And sometimes if there's something going on with one of the databases, I'll give you some extra information here. But once again, if you're having any trouble finding something specific, especially if the link someone gave you isn't working, there's usually always a back door in. So give us a shout if you need some help, and that's what we're here for. Next we have a writing and citing page. So what I've done here is I've included a link to the University of Lethbridge Writing Center. So if you need to schedule an appointment with them, you can do so. Also some extra resources for writing. For help with citing, I've included a link to our different citing pages, including that APA one. We also have some uh, support resources for EndNote, so you're more than welcome to check that out. If you have to do a literature review, uh, there's some really wonderful resources here that can help you with that, including Oxford Bibliographies, which will connect you to a lot of great sources on different topics. Now let's just go to the Theses tab up here. If you need help locating a specific thesis or dissertation, please see my new video on how to do so. If this is something that you're pursuing yourself, we've also got a number of different help guides for that, along with some uh, research methods and ones very specific to research in educational psychology and counseling as well. Again, I've tried to buy as many of these ones in ebook format as I can, but we do have some resources that are still in print. Speaking of which, if you're a distance student and you need something that's in print that's in our physical collection, there's information for distance students on this page right here, so you can go through that and it will talk about how to access different materials and services that are available to you as a distance student. Next, we have a page that's specific to faculty where I just um, talk about some of the resources and services that are available for faculty. And finally, we have um, an open access page. So many of our electronic resources are available only to current faculty, students, and staff. And that's because of the rather restrictive licensing um, agreements that we have to sign in order to provide our researchers with those resources. However, there is um, an open access movement that seeks to make um, scholarly communication more accessible to everyone, and that's the spirit of this page. So I've included um, some information about open access, uh, some of the directories full of open access um, scholarship, and another thing that I've done is specific for counseling and educational psychology. I've started up a page that lists uh, journals that I've sought out on that particular topic. So you can click here. That will take you to an open um, Excel page. So what I've done on this is I've gathered the titles of 100% open access journals. So if you are an alumni or a community member, you should be able to get into all of these journals. Um, I've also made it with our own researchers in mind as well, and I've really done my best to obviously weed out predatory journals, but also to find you a number of journals that aren't charging you a publication fee to publish in that particular journal. We've even got a few that are relevant uh, for graduate students. So grad students, if you want to get your stuff published, um, you don't have to wait to do that, and you can take a look at some of the stuff here. All right, let's just go back to the LibGuide. And let's go home. So that wraps up our little video tour of the Counseling and Educational Psychology LibGuide. Just a reminder that if you need some help, here's my contact information here. 
and here is the main research desk if you're unable to find me. Thanks for watching and happy researching!